we're going to be using the WebKit version. I think the full version is out for WebKit. I think you don't have to actually use the prefix anymore, uh, but we're going to anyway, just for the sake of this. And we're going to say WebKit box sizing, and then we're going to give it, and then we're going to say border box. So what does that do? If I refresh, what that does is whenever I said before, with the bounding boxes, if you actually add a margin or a padding, it adds to the overall width and the overall height of it. But if we were to say no, if we say no, don't do that. If we set the, the bounding box, uh, the box sizing to border box, what it will do is add that to the inside of it pretty much. So like, instead of adding, if I add some padding, instead of adding you know extra width to compensate for the extra padding, it'll just kind of push everything inside in a little further, right? Does that make any sense? I think that makes some sense. So that's that for now. What we could do now is inside right here, we can get rid of the WebKit uh, uh, prefix, just see if that still works. Yes, it does. So yeah, you don't need the prefix for Chrome at least. I don't know about the other browsers at the moment, but I'll check that out and let you know when I, when I uh, find out. I mean, you could do just a quick Google search to find it yourself. Wouldn't be too bad. So what I'm gonna do now is add a font weight to this and just give it bold. We're not gonna go into the numbers. If I bold that, it'll bold the title and the description. We don't want that. So what we do is we come to the paragraph tag and we say font weight, font weight, for weight uh, normal, refresh. There we go. So now the title is bold, but the description is not. That's what we wanted. That's awesome. We can also change the color inside of here and give the title uh, the color of 4B4B4B. There we go, something like that. So we're, we're making some progress. What we wanna do now is add a background change whenever we hover over. So to add the background change on hover, what we'll do is we'll say game thumb hover on hover for a test, let's do background of red change. Boom, now when you hover over any area within the thumbnail list itself, it will change the background color to whatever color we defined. So if you want to change it to a bit more subtle of a change, like uh, e e e, you see you get the background change there. That's not too bad. One thing I want to do is uh, make this transition when I hover over it. So how can I do that? In the game thumb right here, what I'll do is I'll say WebKit transition. Again, probably don't need the prefix, but we're going to be using the prefixes for Mozilla, for uh, Opera and the normal one, just in case you have an outdated version of a browser or, you know, just whatever, just, just to be sure. So WebKit browser, we're going to say all. We want all of these to be transitionable if we want them to be. So all 0.25 seconds would be about the time for it to fade on and ease on and off. Refresh. When you hover over, it kind of goes shoo, 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 right? So that's good. That's cool. What we want to do now is copy this, paste it a few times, make like this one Moz, O for Opera, that's Mozilla for Firefox, O for Opera, and then we'll get rid of this one for normal. Refresh, still works, and it should work in your other browsers as well, as long as you're using a decent modern browser. Now, what do we do? Let's see. If we're looking at this, when we hover over it, you'll see that the, the title is right up against the edge of the of the background and we don't want that because it kind of looks just not good so what we want to do for that is on the index page come in here we're going to add a div and go down and close this div now why am i doing this the reason we're doing this is so that we can actually target the thumbnail the title and the description Austin, why did i not do that and the description. And we can say add a margin to the top of it and that'll push it down just far enough. The reason we don't actually add like a padding around the whole game thumbnail, around the whole thing, is because it will add it around the image and I want to keep it kind of just off of the thumbnail, make, make the image itself 
the full size of the color from the background. And that'll make sense here in a second when I show you my plans for the hover effect. Nothing too special, but it'll make more sense when we do that here in a moment. So now let's go ahead and style that using the div. So game thumb div margin top uh, 5 pixels. So did that work? There we go. It's pushed it off of that. But what we're doing is we're actually still going around the thumbnail. And I did not manage to catch that. And that's my bad. So control X. We'll get this right in a second. It's it's a matter of paying attention. And I'm not doing that. All right. So now control S. There we go. So now it's pushed the thumbnail back to the place it's supposed to be. And it's brought our text down 5 pixels. And in my opinion, that looks a lot better. Now it's not right up against the edge. It's down just far enough, but it's not down too far. And uh, we still have room for, looks like, three rows of description text, which is good. I'm not sure if we'll use it, but it's good to have. So now one more thing that we have to do for the styling, that we don't, we don't have to do, but I want to do for the styling, is I want to come into the overall game thumb. I want to add a border, right? I want to say border to the left. So the left side of the image will have a border. And I'll give it a 3 pixel solid transparent. Now while I'm doing that, that means you can't see it, so what's the point of it? If I control S, come here and refresh, you'll see that it's pushed it over 3 pixels. And so there's a border there, but you cannot see it. So, what do we do? And keep in mind, we have the border box set up, or the bounding box set up, with CSS box sizing, so that when we added that 3 pixel border, it didn't actually make the whole thing 3 pixels wider. It made, it just made room inside of the bounding box for 3 pixels of a border. But the reason I did that is so in Hover, what we can do is change the 3 pixel solid border to a color. Let's just test it with a red, right? Refresh. Now watch this. Whoop, there it is. See, it's kind of cool, right? I mean, it's that's not what we're going for. I want it to be a bit wider. Let's do a 5 pixels. I see what it's doing now is it's pushing it over. And that's actually kind of a cool effect. But it's not what I'm wanting to do. If you like that, I mean, there you go. That's, that's, uh, that's something else you can, uh, you can work on if you like that effect. I mean, it, it slides it over using CSS transitions. And that's pretty cool. But uh, it doesn't work for what I'm doing, I, I don't think. So what I'll do is I'll add a 5 pixel here too, so we don't have to actually make the border larger. And there we go. You may like the other option a bit more, and that's completely understandable because that's pretty cool. So if you like that, go with that. But what I'm going to do is grab the green from the hover here. Give that border that green color. Go back, refresh. And now when we hover, we have that green border to the left of that. You may not like that, and that's fine. You may like the other idea. You may not like the idea at all. So don't go with it if you don't like it. I mean, this is just to give you ideas, to teach you how to do different things, and uh, to teach you to just try something. If you don't like it, you can change it. Like I'm saying, I may change what we have right now in the future again. There's no telling. Then we can go in and add some, uh, add some glitter if we want to. But for now, this is what we have. Some things will change. Uh, we'll change some things up. But if you like this, let me know in the description if you don't think we should waste so much time with styling. Or, I think in the description, don't let me know in the description. Let me know in the comments. That'll make more sense. Let me know in the comments if you want to just focus on the programming part of WordPress or if you kind of want to see the styling in there too. I know I'm not the greatest <laughs> designer from looking at this. One thing that I'd like to point out is that our images are black and gray pretty much. They're just different colors, different shades of, of gray. And that really takes away from some of the color that could potentially be here. So if we had like a, graph, a colorful graphic from a game or something for, for our slideshow, then it would really add that a splash of color the website needs. But for now, there's nothing there. But uh, this part probably took up two or three parts because it was pretty long. In the next part, we will continue on with the functioning part of the website. So, thank you for watching. I will like to...
get a video up tomorrow, and I can't promise you anything, but from the way things are going, I would say that would be a good idea. Uh, we're making some more progress on the theme. I'm excited. The, oh, the forum for awfulmedia.com. I want to make a separate video about that. I'll probably start that here in a second. But I've been working on it again recently, and I want to uh, get that ready pretty soon. But I want to make a video and get some guys, uh, get some people's opinions on it, see what you guys think about having a forum there, see if you guys would actually uh, want to excuse me, spend some time, see if you guys would want to spend some time on the forum, because it's not going to be a success without people using it. So let me know. It'll be a forum for, uh, for you guys, people that watch my videos, need help on them, need help on a, th a template or a theme of mine, anything like that. So I want to build up some uh, an audience for it before I release it and it just turns into a ghost forum, a ghost town. That's not a good idea. Those never work out. So expect that video sometime. It won't be anything special, just a video talking about it. Thank you for watching. This was a long, rambling video, and I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you. Uh, the, the channel has the new channel page activated. Let me know what you think. I'm still working on the design of it. I'm working on changing up some of the shelving that they have set up for the videos. And uh, we'll see. We'll just, I, mean, I like it. I love the design of it. I love the style. It, it does feel a little cluttered um, in the where the video shelves are. Uh, it's it's really modular, I like that. Uh, we'll talk about it more in the future because it, I would really like to talk about some of their design choices. Talk about uh, just just how, how cool it really was. Um, how, how good of an idea it was. And how some things just I don't agree with. But that's, <laughs> that's for another video. Again, thank you for watching. My name is Austin. And I will see you next time.